Jace Tunnel here with uh, Mission Aransas National Western Research Reserve at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. Today we are at North Packery and this is on uh, Mustang Island and uh, it's where a, a channel comes out and uh, what you have here is jetties on the north side and then there's jetties on the south side so this is called the North Packery Channel. But what we have coming in today are these jellyfish. These are moon jellies and they're coming in by the thousands. And what's interesting, and I don't know if you can see from here, but if you look out, there's surfers all out there. And so I was out there a couple of days ago and I stayed out for an hour. And I, when I came in, there wasn't one inch on my body that didn't have stings on it. So these things definitely have stings. Um, these type of moon jellies are found all over the world. And when the conditions are right, like warm temperatures, low DO, they, they just bloom. And so right now we have water temperatures. It's, uh, you know, mid to late October right now. Water temperatures are like 84 out here. Um, and temperatures in the air are like 90 degrees. And so, you know, it's just perfect for them to bloom and, and stuff like that. But I was gonna tell you a little bit about them. And so if we look real close, you can see um, they had this slimy uh, film on them. But if you look real close, they've got these four little uh, horseshoe crab looking things on them, or horseshoes. Uh, they, those are actually gonads. And they most of them have four, but every once in a while you'll see the one that has six or something like that. Um, they also have uh, tentacles that come off of them. And they have these stinging cells uh, called pneumatophores. And that's how they're they're able to grab their food and then take it up into their digestive system where there are digestive enzymes that break it down and then the animal is able to absorb it up and so you know usually you don't want to do this because uh, you get stung but i feel like i got stung so much last week that uh i'm i'm getting an immunity no probably not it's probably gonna hurt but uh usually what you find and you don't want to do this. Now that's just nasty looking, right? Um, usually what you find is uh, like man wars and stuff like that. You never want to touch them. But uh, because, or you can touch the, the, what we call the bell of it. You can touch the bell, but usually not underneath because that's where the tentacles are that have the pneumatophores, which are the stinging cells, uh, which that's how they uh, numb their prey. Uh, to be able to eat them. Um, what are some other things uh, we can talk about this? Uh, oh, these are also, uh, they're either male or female, you know, so you can have uh, uh, the two different sexes. And the, there's a, there is a jellyfish that's called, um, what's the name of that jellyfish? It's uh, like the never ending, or the, the, oh, immortal jellyfish. It's called the immortal jellyfish. Um, where these are similar in that um, they can age growing up, but they can also reverse that. So uh, they would actually um, uh, reverse the age process to where they're getting younger. And how they figure that out, I don't know, but when I was doing the research on this, those, that was some of the research that came out. Um, these live about six months, although um, you also find these in aquariums. Um, so in aquariums they can actually live for a couple of years and that's because they're not having to deal with the environmental factors and stuff like that um, these are also a good food source so it's a lot of protein in here so there's things that eat them out here um, uh, like the leatherback sea turtle uh, eats these birds come down uh, they eat them especially in the shallow bays where these get up close to the surface um, uh, mola mola you know the big sunfish those also eat them so actually a, a really cool animal and even though it creates a, a sting it's not too bad it's more of an annoying uh, sting it's not like the man of war that when you get stung i mean you you gotta like go in and it takes about 10 to 20 minutes to get over it uh, this is a mild sting and so with that when the waves are good i actually uh, don't mind getting a little stung just so I can get some good waves because usually there's fewer people out when there's this many jellyfish. But what I'll try to do 
is why don't I uh, walk out here uh, real quick and we'll see if we can find some more. But we'll find some live ones. So there's, there's a dead one. And you know, I picked that thing up under my hand there, or with my hand underneath it. And it has this slimy film on it. Let's see if we can find one floating around. That might be more interesting than the ones that are just... Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's actually a mullet, like a little finger mullet swimming around here. Now, all the surfers I talked to that were coming in from surfing, they told me that it's really bad out here with um, little bitty man of war. There are little man of war that are coming in, but the majority of them, they said, were the moon jellies. And so that's what, that's what I kind of wanted to show. But I don't know. I'm Aha, here's one. It's actually hard to see. But you can see it there. Maybe I'll get my bucket. Let's get my bucket here. See if we can get it in some water. Oh yeah. Okay. This way we can keep it alive. We'll be able to keep it alive. Then we can let it go after we check it out. They're actually uh, real pretty. So let's look here. So I want to know what we're looking at here. You can see it kind of pulsating. And it's got its tentacles all around the edges. See if I can put it underwater. Well, then you wouldn't be able to hear me talk if I just do that. Yeah. Man. Very cool. Now that's probably hard for y'all to see, oh, especially with that. But uh, I was going to see if I could get it in the sunshine to where you can see it better. Very, very nice pink around the edges where all the tentacles are. Okay, let's see if I can put it back out. I'm sure uh, people are seeing me let, let a jellyfish go and they're probably like, what are you doing? Hey, man. Everything's got a purpose in life, right? Okay, so let's see if we can watch it. Yep, it's still trying to move. Now they can't really swim fast enough to go against the current. And so they really are just like a large uh, plankton. So they just kind of float where the current takes them. Really nice. Okay, so with that, that's it for our episode today. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna go catch some waves. All right, see you later. Bye.